hopefully you guys are watching this on um friday morning right now it's what is today today's tuesday it's 7 30 in the morning i got like one hour of sleep yesterday like there's something that has been like eating away at my soul and it is this trip to Miami. I'm so nervous. Like, I've never traveled alone. I, well, not like alone, obviously, like with friends, but like, I've never traveled like without my mom or my dad or like anybody. I don't know. The last time I was on a plane, I was like freaking 13. So I'm nervous. I, like, my anxiety <laughs> is like shooting through the roof. I canceled the trip like three times, but I'm back. I wasn't able to sell my ticket, so thank you guys for not purchasing it. But you know what? I'm just trying to stay positive and you know, maybe I won't die and maybe I won't get kidnapped. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you today? Okay, I'm gonna drive to this place to go get my wig installed. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about, a little bit more about the wig once I get over there or once I'm done with it, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys around with me today to get everything ready. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit later when I'm not driving, so yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's poppin', you guys? I just got out of the hair salon. What lace? Lace has left the chat. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the wig. Oh my goodness, I left the box. Ah! This is a wig from uniwigs.com. They were so dope enough to send me the Chloe Remy 18 inch human hair 613 wig. So I'll leave like a little screenshot slash like screen recording of their site. You guys can check them out. Their wigs are super affordable and super good quality. Like I've had a platinum wig before, you guys have seen it, but it was synthetic and um, sorry, I'm just obsessed. It was synthetic and to be honest, like it got really nappy and like tangled and everything. But the first thing that I noticed about this hair was how soft it was. This is the 130% density and it's so bomb. It feels like a natural amount of hair. Like other wigs that I have, it feels like you're wearing a wig, but this one like, bitch, it could be my hair. Who's clocking me? Nobody. Yeah, it really feels like my hair. It looks natural, it looks bomb. It was installed bum so yeah if you guys want to go ahead and check them out to go ahead and check out their wigs they have so many different colors and what i love about the 613 one is that you can dye it any color i'm so excited i think i want to do like either a royal blue or like or like a red or like a pink or like a purple any color i'm so down to do but i just wanted to try blonde for a little bit yeah, we're doing that big thank you to uniwigs for this don't focus on my eyebrows that's disgusting but yeah go ahead and check them out show them some love a lot of their wigs are on sale right now so go ahead and check them over there these people are looking at me oh. i'm going to go back home now and get something to eat because i did not eat my breakfast and i feel like shit I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but like I have nothing to throw up, which scares me. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and grab something to eat, then I'm gonna go get my nails done, and then see what else needs to be done. Okay, so this is future me, present me, but for you, future me. It's Friday, May 10th, um, when you guys are supposed to be watching this. I forgot to mention in the video that this wig, I still have it on by the way, you guys can see, she's still pretty cute i posted some pictures with her on instagram and you guys went crazy but yeah i'm gonna put the beanie back on because it's freaking cold but a couple things i forgot to mention about the wig that i'm gonna tell you guys right now so the chloe wig that i have right now is actually an upgraded version not the one that they have on the website so they did a lot of upgrades like on the hair and especially on the lace they made it like transparent and they added like an inch to the lace so the one that is on their site is a little bit different but but this wig will be up um around june i'll like post something about it if you guys are looking to purchase it but i would wait like a minute if you guys do want to get this exact wig i forgot to say that in the video i was a little flustered but yeah um hope you guys are liking it and let's get back to it oh, so 
this is what I'm gonna try to go for with like the little pink. So I like the first pink color done. As you guys can see, it's like a little ombre. And why do my fingers look so long? So the powder is all set. And then we're gonna go in with the glitter. <laughs> You know the, the guy who um, had a, a big party at his house in Calabasas where a bunch of girls got sick? No. He's a white YouTuber, what's his name? Um, oh, he's like a rich YouTuber. So about a couple of hours ago, I realized that the only thing I've eaten like in the past 24 hours was a couple chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A that I got yesterday and like half a banana. So I thought I would go ahead, eat the rest of my nuggets and fries. I just got my nails done. You guys can see, I have some footage from that. Is this gonna focus? There we go. And it's already four o'clock. I feel like I've been out forever, but I haven't done anything. So pretty much all I need to do is pack my things, pack my carry-on, and then I have a couple little errands to run. I need to go buy another camera battery and then go pick up some shoes from the Montebello Town Center. And after that, I'm pretty much done. All right, you guys. Um, this is a total change of plans. I'm literally in bed right now. I really don't know like how I'm gonna title this video or anything like that. I didn't really expect it to go this way. Right now, I thought I would kind of be getting ready to go to the airport, but I'm not. I am no longer going to Miami. Yeah, I was excited about the trip and you know, I literally have like my suitcase right there packed and I was packing like my makeup and stuff, but I think I got like an anxiety attack out of nowhere and I, I never like traveled that far without like my parents or anything and I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, like you're 18, like this and that, but you know, it's just different and I felt bad for leaving for Mother's Day and there were like a couple other things that had me thinking twice about it i started feeling like this probably at around like five o'clock and then i was like let me go ahead and take a nap and then see if i feel better but i woke up like at eight and i still felt the same so yeah unfortunately we will not be doing any miami videos i do plan on going to the bay area and la rolling loud i already have the tickets for those so stay tuned for those those i know i will for sure be okay but i feel like miami i'm just i'm like you know i have a lot like going on and i'm not like blaming anything or whatever but i just don't feel like i'm really up for a whole trip to miami yeah it is what it is it's not the end of the world it's not the only rolling on miami that there's gonna be it's not the only music festival that there's gonna be and i guess if there's something that like you guys can take from this it's just you know do what makes you comfortable like you know sometimes everybody's like step out of your comfort zone do the crazy things but sometimes it's okay to stay in your comfort zone like bro what is the bad thing about being comfortable maybe one day i will go back to stepping out like how i used to but right now this is it this is where we're at 
So if you guys have any other video requests for me to do, go ahead and let me know. <laughs> I'm really sorry that the content um, won't be here, but you know, in September there's another festival, so hopefully then we'll try again. Um, but I hope you guys understand. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.